discuss that and more as Dorothy Cassisari. Pay attention to every word Dorothy says. Hey, I'm Wayne Brady, and I'm here with the beautiful Dorothy Cassisari here on Celebrity Corner. Hey, I'm Dorothy Cassisari, and welcome to Celebrity Corner. Here's what's on tonight's show. The time has finally come for me to announce the winner of our Grenada Sweepstakes valued at $7,000. And that includes a three-night all-inclusive stay at the Spice Island Beach Resort with airfare provided by OneTravel.com. So make sure you have your phone with you and that it's fully charged because I'm surprising one lucky viewer with the exciting news that he or she won. <laughs> also, whether you're single or married, we all have questions about love and dating. I know I certainly do from time to time. You, the viewers, tweeted and emailed your questions, and a dating coach is here with all the answers. And you'll never believe which celebs are having the same issues. Plus, celebrity summer trends that are hotter than ever for fall. MTV host Lene Dunn joins me to talk about which pieces in your closet to keep handy when the temperatures start dropping. And she should know because she's interviewed tons of celebrities with lots of style. Okay, so last week, I told you all about this fabulous party at Jill Zarin's house in the Hamptons that I attended. She hosted her annual ladies' luncheon, benefiting St. Jude's Children's Research Hospital. She had been emailing me all summer to come over and check out our new house, and I finally did, and it was fantastic. I even brought a camera crew along so I could show you all the behind-the-scenes action from this super exclusive Hamptons party. Let's take a look at the footage. Wow, okay, so her house is unbelievable. It really reminds me of a home in Malibu more so than anything, and it's worth a reported $8 million. I mean, there's an infinity pool overlooking the water. Look at how gorgeous it is. Oh, there's Jill and I posing for the photogs, little paparazzi. I was actually even asked to get on the red carpet myself, which rarely happens. I'm usually on the other side of the red carpet. Got all sorts of fancy cars in the driveway. Definitely a Hamptons party. There's Christy Brinkley. You know, I talked to her last week all about her beauty secrets. Uh, she really is so drop-dead gorgeous. The food was unbelievable. Celebrity chef David Burke put together these gorgeous displays, bruschetta display with all sorts of tapenade. They even had bacon popsicles on a clothesline. That's me eating and making a full out of myself. Uh, <laughs> and also these cute little cucumber salads. Oh my gosh, they had of course in the Hamptons lobster, crab, all that sort of stuff. Kobe beef sliders. Uh, the desserts were unbelievable. Marshmallows infused with Baileys. I mean, it really, you know, these desserts were just really something. Um, and they even had this lemonade stand uh, with ultimate vodka. There was watermelon and rosemary infused vodka. I mean, they had every single concoction. There's me and my friends having some fun. I mean, it was a Saturday afternoon. Can you blame me? It was really fantastic. Jill had all of her jewelry on display. She has a really fantastic jewelry collection, so we tried them on. I mean, she has some gorgeous pieces, pieces in there. And of course, her book too, Secrets of a Jewish Mother. I met her sister at the party, she was fab. Uh, and I even got my makeup airbrushed by Tempto. They had a makeup artist there. Uh, Warren Tricomi had set up shop. They were doing hair. And, uh, and I even went in with the European Wax Center and uh, took care of a little business in Jill's special spa. Uh, it was this private room that Jill just basically hangs out in anytime she needs a massage. There's a sauna, there's a steam room. I mean, if I had a room like this in my house, I don't think I would ever leave it. It was so impressive. And she said it was actually one of her absolute favorite rooms in her house. Uh, and it was just really fantastic. I mean, they had all these pillows set up. It, it was a party, certainly to remember. And the goodie bags were unbelievable. I actually brought some of the things that Jill's guests were given to take home. Um, I, I got this great temp to, um, Airbrusher, which was what you know they had used on me at the party. Spa Sonic to clean your skin. I got a Mophie, uh, which you know helps your iPhone stay charged. As I know, I'm always lugging my charger around. That will help. Uh, mascara. I mean, they had everything there, and I even had a chance to pull Jill aside for a little one-on-one -on -one time. So I want you to take a look at that. Jill, tell us a little bit about this house, by the way, because this house reminds me more of Malibu than necessarily the Hamptons. Doesn't it? And that's why I fell in love with it. The minute I walked in and I walked in the front door and it was all white glass and I looked out the window, I said, this is my home. I'm going to die in this house. You invited me over twice this summer. I did. Twice. One time you couldn't go out because of your, your foot. You have you I hurt your broken foot. foot. You broke your I foot. still have a broken foot. So I'm in ther physical therapy. So you invited me over twice this summer and how on earth did I not come by? Because this house is spectacular. Oh, you're very sweet. Thank you. Um, it's not my, you know, it's, it's not me. It's the land. I mean, it's the water it's it's the it's god it's 
It's yeah. God. <laughs> so, um, Jill, most people know you best from Real Housewives of New York. Yes. And I want to know kind of what your plans are for getting back into reality TV at some point, because we need to see you back in it. Oh, I don't know. I don't think so. I think I'm happy doing charity work, and um, I like throwing parties. You know, if somebody wants to follow me doing that, I guess there might be a show there, but I like doing this. Well, you have a broken foot right now, but I can see you on something like Dancing with the Stars. I actually would love to do The Apprentice. I told I told some people from Trump here today that that's like my secret uh, wish. I, I could s do that. I could see you doing Apprentice because you're very business minded. I did this event, so I think I could pull it off. So, how have you been spending your summer? Working on this, uh, doing charity, and uh, my my brand. You know, it's also a great exposure for Jill Zarin's brands. I mean, I have a jewelry line that's uh, out in retail stores, Jill Zarin Jewelry, and I have Squeeze Couture, and I'm launching hosiery socks this this fall, and it's growing, and I just you know want to keep it going. One thing about Jill Zarin is that she knows how to throw a party. Now, on to another big party that I'm going to be attending, actually throwing in uh, just about two months. I'm nearing the two-month mark, my wedding. So I've been planning this all by myself. Yep, no wedding planner here. And many of our viewers have been asking for details about the big day. I've been a little bit reluctant, but I think it's time to give it up a little bit. So uh, I brought in some photos. Uh, we're getting married in Long Beach Island at Bonnet Island Estate. There's the chapel, it's a boathouse overlooking the bay and there's a gorgeous stone fireplace. I could actually just cry looking at that photo. Um, and there's also the exterior of the estate that we're getting married at. Mary Makers Catering is doing all of our food, which I'm really looking forward to. And we're actually staying at the coolest hotel in Long Beach Island called Daddio. And uh, that bar right there, that's where you'll find me at the after party <laughs> and hopefully everybody else. So everything is starting to fall into place for the wedding, but there's a long list of things to go. And Anyway, thanks to you, my loyal viewers, I even selected my wedding shoes. Now, if you remember from last week, I could not decide between the sparkly Christian Louboutin peep toes or the Jimmy Choo silver cage heels. You tweeted and I listened. Okay, so Kate at Fishing for Beauty said, wear the Jimmy Choo's, you can totally wear them again, and they seem more out of the box. I like that comment, because I like to think of myself as out of the box, but Erica at Erica L. Coop said, wear the red bottoms, the Louboutins, down the aisle, and the other pair at the after party. Erica, you're a girl after my own heart, why not keep both, right? <laughs> so let's see what I chose. The majority said, Christian Louboutins, but ladies, Fear not, because thanks to my very generous future mother-in-law, I'm keeping the Jimmy Choo's too, and I'll be wearing them for the rehearsal dinner. <laughs> and believe me, this is not normal fare for me. I do not get fancy shoes like this every day, only for my wedding. Anyway, I still have to decide what color I'm going to paint my nails for my wedding, but I do know that I will be using Zoya Nail Polish, my polish of choice, and a proud sponsor of Celebrity Corner. Zoya is vegan friendly and there are no heavy duty chemicals like formaldehyde. And tonight, 200 Celebrity Corner viewers will win a bottle of the color that I'm wearing, and I actually brought the bottle this time, and it's called Neely. It's a gorgeous mint green. So stay tuned for details on our giveaway. When Celebrity Corner returns, I asked viewers for their burning questions about love and dating, and an author and dating coach is here with the answers. And later, the winner of our vacation sweepstakes to gorgeous Spice Island Beach Resort in Grenada with airfare from OneTravel.com is announced, and I'm calling the lucky winner myself. I can't wait for that. Welcome back to Celebrity Corner. I'm Dorothy Cassisari. So navigating your love life, no matter what your relationship status is, can be difficult. So we brought an expert in to answer the tough questions that you, the viewers, tweeted and emailed. And you'll never believe some of the celebs who are in the same boat. Joining me tonight is dating coach and author of Dating by the Books, Sarah Shofati. Hi, Sarah. Hi, how are you? I'm so happy that you're here because we need an expert to lend some advice here. OK, so let's start with Danny from Philly. Danny from Philly said, I'm thinking about joining an online dating site, but it seems like it could be a waste of time and money. How long should I give it if I do? This is something we just heard about from Martha Stewart. She joined Match.com, which was a big admission on her part, I thought. Right, yeah. Well, so online dating is very mainstream now. No one should ever be embarrassed to do it. I would say, you know, the rule of thumb is do it with an open mind and a thick skin Ooh. and kind of expect some rejection, but not to take it personally. And I would say at a minimum, you need to give it one to two months and then check in. You know, how's it going? If you don't want to continue, that's fine. You can always go back. But doing it for one night or one week, it's not really going to give you, you know, a sample of what it's really like. So 
So you have to stick it in for at least a month or two just to kind of see what's happening. Yeah, Sam I think Sample so. the population. Absolutely, yeah, <laughs> check out the goods, you know. Okay, so let's move on to a question from a Twitter fan, uh, at AJJ. Uh, the question is, how soon is too soon to introduce family? Now, this is a good one for Lindsey Vaughn and Tiger Woods because, you know, they're in a brand new relationship. And she must definitely have this question, especially given his track record. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. How about, how about someone with a, with a regular track record, okay? <laughs> yeah. How soon is too soon? Yeah, so I would say it's too soon. You want to be sure that you are exclusive. You know, okay. you don't want to... You have the conversation. Absolutely. Okay. And that's a very good point. You don't want to be assuming you're exclusive. You actually need to agree and say, hey, like... Are you just with me? I'm just with you. Okay, great. Um, you want to introduce them to your friends first. Okay. You know, that's kind of like a, a, a gateway, the gateway to the family. So. If, the, if the friends like the person, then you can bring them into the family. Exactly. I like that advice. Okay, um, our third viewer, Marie from New Jersey, says, where are the best places to get a date because bars don't seem to work? Now, William H. Macy and Felicity Huffman, I love this story, um, they've been married for many years, and she was a student in his acting class. So it seems that, you know, pursuing a passion or a skill might find you someone with the same passion and skill. Absolutely. I would say classes are a phenomenal place to meet people. So any anything that you're any activity that you're into or a hobby, find a group where you can do that thing. But in addition, you can meet someone anywhere in a public place, coffee shops, restaurants, the laundromat, um, the bookstore. I mean, really, any place is fair game with a smile and a little creativity. And they say that uh, community service is a good place to meet people, yes. too. You help others, and you create good karma for yourself as well, right? Absolutely. OK, I like yeah. that. Um, all right, moving on. Matt from NYC says, what is the best way for a guy to approach a girl? I'm afraid of saying the wrong thing. Now. This is a cute celebrity story. Um, Jim Toth actually snagged Reese Witherspoon because his drunk friend was hitting on her and he swooped in and was, you know, the chivalrous hero. Yes, that's an amazing way to do it. I would say the two rules of thumb are approach a woman confidently and politely. Okay. You, you don't want to hesitate, but you also don't want to be like the close talking creepy guy invading her personal space. So a great way to do it is to ask a general question like, do you know what the happy hour specials are? Oh. Ask her opinion on something, like where can I buy something for my mom or my sister as a birthday gift. Oh, I like that. Yeah. Um, I love that, actually. Yeah, it's it's really good, and it shows that they're caring about other women in their life as well. Okay, I like yeah. that advice a lot. Now, last question is from Twitter fan, at HelloLaura96. What could you do when you're stuck in a relationship rut and there's very little time for date night? I'm married two years with two kids, and you can only imagine Brad and Angelina have this kind of thing with six kids. Yes. Well, How do you liven it up? Okay, so um, you have to plan it and schedule it and put it in your calendar. You have to really treat it as a priority, not as something that you hope happens or it would be nice. I mean, it's really important that it's a priority, it's a regular appointment at least once a month, and you only cancel it for emergencies. You have to stick to it. Absolutely. I love that advice. Sarah Shofody, thank you so much for joining us tonight. Coming up next, MTV host Lene Dunn joins me to talk fashion, how summer trends celebs are wearing are working their way into fall. Check out Scandal star Kerry Washington's super sexy leather halter. Welcome back to Celebrity Corner. So celebs have been rocking some pretty cool trends this summer, from leopard to leather and more. And while summer is winding down, I hate saying that, these looks are here to stay, popping up on runways for fall. Here to talk about this and more tonight is host of MTV's 10 on Top, Lene Dunn. Let's take a look at some of her work. B, I'm trying not to make this last. And I know we can make it through. That's why I'm waiting. What's up, you guys? It's Lene here, and I'm sailing with Zac Efron, and this movie's coming out today. Oh my gosh, I love that clip. <laughs> You're so adorable. Oh, I'm glad you like it. <laughs> so you have interviewed a lot of really big style makers in Hollywood. Mm. So let's start with a big trend we've been seeing this summer, which is leopard. Leopard never seems to go out of style, it seems, but it has bigger moments than than not, right? Yes. Okay, so Diane Kruger, she was wearing this gorgeous, like, short sleeve pink leopard top, um, and we've been seeing it on the runway, uh, DKNY runway for fall. So how do we change this look into fall? Well, I think, first of all, I think Diane did a great job pairing it with some pink pants to kind of soften the look. I think leopard print can be very rocky or rocker at times, and I think um, she made it very cute and flirty at the same time, which I thought was very 
awesome of her. <laughs> I agree with you. I agree with you. Now, another trend that we're seeing is leather, which I loved mm. for the summer because yes. you don't think of leather in the summer, but it yeah. was one of the biggest trends of the season. So Kerry Washington wore this gorgeous black leather top with a pretty floral skirt, and then we also saw it on Calvin Klein's runway for the fall. So how are we wearing this piece for fall? Leather is very timeless. I, my favorite way, one of my favorite ways to wear leather is a leather, like either leather halter or a crop top with an A-line skirt. It's very flattering. It's very cute. It kind of like has the edgy look mixed with like a very girly look, which I love like kind of like that contrast. Me too. I'm obsessed yeah. with that. That's mm -hmm. one of my big things. My sisters always say that my clothes don't match, but I love <laughs> I love the girly and the rocker. Okay. Sometimes when people think it do doesn't when when they think it doesn't match, it kind of does sometimes. Ag agree. Agree with you. Me. Okay, so um now let's talk about the midi skirt and that's M I D I mm -hmm. meaning like mid length. Yep. This this trend is huge and Victoria Beckham rocked a really pretty blue yes, one so pretty. and we also saw it on the runway as well. Yeah. So um, how do we wear this for fall to really kind of give it an updated look? Yeah, I mean, I've seen this. I'm trying to rock the midi skirt. I actually went out and bought one and I'm having such a hard time going from like a mini skirt and cowgirl boots, which is like my go to, <laughs> to like the midi because I want to be able to like rock it. And so um, this trend is like looks so gorgeous on her and you kind of almost have a mini skirt. It could be I, like a little yeah, longer. I am yeah. kind of wearing like a longer it's like type. almost a midi. Yep. Yeah. Kind so of. I mean like you d you know how to rock that. Oh, like I think you. you do a lovely job. I think <laughs> if you do a midi skirt with heels, I think it looks very elegant and I think that's the way you should go that's about it. That's the way to do it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, cuz it looks awkward with boots or something like yeah, that. Yeah, like I, I wear my boots with like a lot of things and I'm like, "Dang it, they won't <laughs> look good with that skirt." Oh, I won't wear the skirt then. <laughs> I love that you say "dang it." You're so cute. Oh. Okay, and last but not least is army green. So yes. emerald green was the Pantone color of the year mm -hmm. which I'm wearing, but army green was a really big trend this summer. Jessica Alba wore a pair of gorgeous army green pants and we saw it on the Prabhu Goring uh, runway. So, how are we wearing this trend for fall? I mean, army green is also a very timeless print. Um, I love army green. I think there's a way not to wear army green, first of all. Head to toe. Head to toe and different shades. Okay. Like I saw uh, one time a girl in New York was wearing like a long sleeve army green shirt that was just one shade darker than her army green pants. And I was like, oh no. girl, you should wear like a dress. It's like That's not the same work. and like a little cute belt because <laughs> it can be so cute and so flattering. But um, you definitely know, need to know how to rock it and don't rock it too much. I like that <laughs> advice. Now another big thing I'm looking forward to see for fall are the nail trends. Mm -hmm. So which ones out of these colors here, which one do you think is yeah. going to move into fall easily? I was looking at these earlier and I actually... Um, this one is, I think, my favorite. Oh, I love that. Yeah, it actually kind of reminds me of like nighttime in New York. Zoya is fantastic. So actually, we're giving away 200 bottles of the color of Zoya that I'm wearing today called Neely. So I'm really excited about this. And we're doing things a little bit differently uh, this show. It, we're not releasing the code until 8 p.m., but just visit Zoya.com backslash Celebrity Corner and plug in tonight's secret word. And the secret word is style. And you can win Zoya nail polish. But remember, we're not releasing it till the end of the show. Uh, up next, we're going to be releasing the winner of our Gren Grenada sweepstakes, and I cannot wait to see who it is. Well, the mood is set, and we've transformed our stage into an island getaway. Hey everyone, I'm Dorothy Castaseri, and it is time for the moment you've been waiting for, our luxury Grenada vacation giveaway. For the past several weeks, I've been telling you how viewers can win an all-expense-paid trip to Grenada by entering a secret word, and the response has been overwhelming. And tonight, I'm announcing the winner. Let's go over the prize package again. The winner and a guest will spend three nights at the luxury Spice Island Beach Resort in Grenada, enjoying your own private pool suite, complimentary snorkeling, kayaking, golfing, and more, with meals included. Round Trip Air is being provided by the top vacation booking website and portal, OneTravel.com. Okay, I have the winner in this envelope right here. Let's see who it is. The winner is Heather Noretto from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. <gasps> Congratulations, Heather. Now the control room is telling me that we actually have Heather on the line. Heather, are you there? Hello. Hi, Heather. It's Dorothy Castaseri, the host of Celebrity Corner. Hi, how are you? Good. Heather, do you know why I'm calling you today? Um, for a chance to win the trip to Grenada. For a chance to win the trip. Heather, have you ever been to Grenada? No, I've never been out of the USA. Oh my gosh. Well, Heather, I'm happy to tell you that you are our winner. Are you Oh my god, are you serious? I'm serious, Heather. Congratulations. <laughs> 
Heather oh Moretto. <laughs> Are you serious? Yes, I'm serious. I think. Am I being punked in no. the non celebrity edition? No, you are not being punked, Heather. I think the people in my control room, my fabulous producers, might have tricked you into thinking that maybe you weren't the winner. But you are. You won. Congratulations. <sighs> Oh my God, my husband is going to be so excited. So that was actually my next question for you, Heather. You're going to take your husband on this trip? Absolutely. Yeah, we got married uh, about a year and a half ago. And instead of going on a honeymoon, we put our money towards a house. So this is our honeymoon we never got to take. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy to hear that. That's so fabulous. Well, Heather, congratulations. I'm so thrilled for you. We're going to give you all of the details. You and I are going to stay on the line. And Celebrity Corner will be back in a moment. Welcome back to Celebrity Corner. If you just tuned in and you're wondering why I'm wearing a bathing suit and cover up, that's because I just announced the winner to our Grenada sweepstakes. Congrats to Heather Noretto. She's heading to Spice Island Beach Resort with airfare provided by OneTravel.com. So exciting. So now it's time in our show for a segment called Dying to Know, where viewers send in their questions about Hollywood. Tonight, Lauren from Long Island is dying to know about Lindsay Lohan. Hi, I'm Lauren from Long Island and I'm dying to know, since Lindsay's getting out of rehab, is she going to go home to her mom, Dina, or is Dina bad at well, Lauren, it just so happens that I had a chance to talk to Dina Lohan when I was at a party recently, and let's hear what she had to say. Well, I don't really have a life outside of my kids. Well, my little guy's turning 17. He's going to go next year. He'll be a senior, so... My girl's like, Mom, you better find someone because you're going to be by yourself. I'm like, I have you guys. You're going to take care of me. Well, she says she doesn't have a life outside her kids, but uh, she's definitely not been a great influence on Lindsay so far. So let's hope that Dina does the right thing and keeps Lindsay out of trouble. She's actually going to be guest hosting Chelsea Lately coming up on August 5th, so I'm looking forward to seeing that. Thanks for watching Celebrity Corner tonight, and remember to check out my website, DorothyOnTV.com. And speaking of my website, it's undergoing an overhaul thanks to Advanta Advertising Design Group. They're helping me strategically move my marketing forward, and they can help you too. They've been around for 15 years, and they totally understand the complex branding demands a company faces in order to stand out from the competition. They've successfully developed, transformed, and expanded brands by creating powerful messaging, beautiful designs, and cutting-edge websites building better brands. It's in their DNA. Big shout out to Joss and Maine for my beautiful set. We're taking a break next week, but we will be seeing you on August 15th. Make sure you follow me on Twitter at DorothyOnTV for more on our show.